Over 100 years ago, the first portable drill came out and it was a big boy. It weighed over five pounds, had a half inch chuck, could only drill a hole up to three quarters of an inch and you had to lug around an extension cord to bring it to where you're working. If you didn't use it right, it could break your wrist or knock you off a ladder. Over the years, dozens of manufacturers have come up with hundreds of options of drills. And between the batteries and the options on each drill, they've come a long way. When it comes to drill drivers, you really have three options. You have a light duty one, which is great for assembling small furniture or doing small tasks. You have a medium duty drill, which is good for drilling medium sized holes and driving medium sized screws. And you have a really large drill driver, which is great for hole saws, spade bits, drilling large holes, but also driving large screws. Manufacturers offer drill drivers in a variety of configurations that meets every budget. You can buy them bare tool or you can buy them as a kit that comes with a battery and a charger. These kits can vary from $50 to $350. Let's dive into the anatomy of the common drill driver. To start, you have your chuck. This can be a quarter inch, three eighths, or up to a half inch. And it holds your bit or your drill bit. Next, you have your clutch, which can be adjusted depending on the type of screw you're driving in. Next, you have your drive type for drilling, driving, and hammer mode options. On top, you have your speed selector, commonly one and two. One is slower for more power. You can switch it to two for higher speed. Most have an LED light, and for the motor, you can go with brushed or brushless. Brushless has better run time, and it's more compact. Drill drivers come in a variety of speeds and torque. Speed is the rotations per minute, and torque is the drill's ability to overcome resistance. But you're gonna pay for these options. Just keep in mind that there's no standard for measuring torque, so it can vary between manufacturers. If you don't own a drill driver yet, make sure you do your homework before you pull the trigger, because the battery is the foundation for your toolkit. Go online, do your homework, and see what other tools that manufacturer has based on that battery platform. And if you own a home and plan on tackling large projects, go with a drill driver with all the options and a big battery. Smaller DIY projects, a light duty drill will do just what you need. And if you want to, you can just buy both. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.